up everybody happy monday today is the first day of prep and i have a lot of mixed emotions about it um it was six months ago since i actually was on stage um but i only did a nine week prep which is not a full prep for me a full prep for me is 16 weeks this prep is going to be 16 weeks long um i feel like I put on some muscle. It wasn't a long downtime for building muscle. Six months is not that long for natural bodybuilders, but I think I definitely put on a little bit of muscle. Um, you guys can see that I weighed 122.1 pounds today. Um, I go to DEXA scan, which is, um, they, it's going to show in detail my muscle mass, um, how much fat I have and stuff like that. So I'll have a better idea of where I'm at. I think it's this week sometime and I'll definitely be recording that for this YouTube series. First of all, I'm very excited to be back. It's been a while. Since I have done a prep series in 2018 um, for Oregon, that was my last prep series, and I think I did daily vlogs. I'm definitely going to be doing as many vlogs as I can. I want to try to do one to two a week, um, and probably record over over a couple <clears throat> of days, and then put it up as one YouTube. But but we will see um, as we as we go along in prep. A lot has happened since I <clears throat> have done my last like real prep series. I feel like I was recording even my last prep and um, I was kind of off and on, but I really, really want to record this prep um, into detail and tell you guys about a lot of things. Um, you guys know that I launched my supplement line. Um, so many great things happening this year for that. And then also I launched my second collection um, called the Camus Collection for Jessica Arevalo Collection. And I'll actually be showing that on here because I never did a try on haul or anything. Um, there are, are some pieces still available, so I'll definitely be updating you guys on that. Um, today, my... Um, calories macro calories are at 1850 and my macros are going to be 150 protein which is a little bit higher protein than i normally do and then 200 carbs and 50 fat and i'll start off with uh pretty low impact probably more treadmill incline um walks and some peloton for cardio this week um each week i'm definitely going to be uh, monitoring my weight and seeing where my body's at week to week and go um, off adjustments for cardio and uh, macros from there. But today I'm going to be recording what I eat um, and kind of recording how I feel throughout the day because I have been eating a lot because I knew I was going to go on prep and this is not going to be a normal prep. I'm going to prep for 16 weeks, which is four months. And then for two months after that, I will be doing several shows. So I'll be in prep for six months, which is a very long time. So I wanted to make sure that I enjoyed myself. Um, definitely had probably more alcohol beverages than I normally do. And um, definitely was probably eating more pizza and wings than I normally did too, because I was trying to mentally prepare myself for prep today. Okay, guys. So... My best friend this prep or every prep when you're tracking your macros in general, I guess, is going to be the scale. Um, I weigh most things in grams and I weigh my meat in ounces. That's just the way I've always done it. Um, but I want to show you guys what my staple breakfast is going to be. I'm going to be mainly eating clean food or, or you can say wholesome food. Um, when I'm doing macros, I'm not going to be eating a bunch of crap. Um, so this is going to be my staple as far as my breakfast. So this is the way that I actually, I don't, um, necessarily track coffee, Starbucks, iced coffee, unsweetened. And you guys can see it's 15 calories per 12 ounces. So I probably have about 16 ounces. Um, I do the medium roast, but they only have the dark and the blonde roast. So I'm mixing them right now. Um, so I normally fill this entire cup up and the one thing that I do measure is um, the creamer. When I get closer to shows I normally completely cut this out but because we're 16 weeks out right now I have a lot of time. 15 grams which is 15 calories so you guys can see I'm going to zero this out. You guys can see the coffee is in there. I zero this out and then I'm going to go until it says 15. 
which that was quick. Maybe I'll do 22. So it'll be a serving and a half. Oh, might as well do 30. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay, whatever, that's close enough. Okay, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit um, over. Um, so, and then I also put one Splenda in. So that is my normal coffee. I actually have this coffee every single morning. I know a lot of you guys do Starbucks and there's calories in a lot of the Starbucks drinks and people don't really normally consider that. I just started eating egg beaters instead of egg whites um, just because they taste a little bit better, but I'm gonna do the egg whites this morning just because I have a whole new thing. I normally kind of switch off in between. There's no difference when it comes to calories or macros on those. Um, so I'll show you guys how I measure this. I'm gonna do, let's do one, 175 as far as grams. That works. And then I'm doing one whole egg. I like putting one whole egg in my egg whites just for the fats, so I get some good fats in the morning, especially because um, I normally work out kind of like late morning, so I wanna have a little bit. So I'll mix that. The only seasoning I use for almost all my meats and eggs is garlic salt. I'm pretty simple. I don't overdo sodium, but I also definitely incorporate sodium. I know a lot of people are afraid of sodium. So uh, for carbs in the morning, I normally eat um, still cut oats. I think I'm saying that right. I honestly haven't ate oats in a, like a pretty long time just because I was not tracking macros. So I was eating a lot of hash browns in the mornings or I eat like cinnamon toast. And I might even do cinnamon toast down the line, but for now, um, like I said, I'm gonna stick to more wholesome foods. So um, I'm gonna do 40 grams of oats. Normally I like to top this with some strawberries or some fruit, but I don't have any. So see, look at, when you can take some out, you definitely wanna take some out. But with the creamer, it's almost impossible to do that. So 40 grams. And then I'll show you guys how it looks afterwards, but literally, exactly how I measure out my food okay you guys so this is how everything looks after it's done and obviously tapatio hot sauce is definitely gonna be my best friend on this prep all right you guys so I'm kind of showing you guys what I do before the gym so this is my one gallon jug I'm not that great on water but I'm definitely gonna be making sure that I get one gallon in per day my trick with this is I only fill it up halfway and then when I'm done with this half, I'll fill it up the other half way because one gallon is a lot to carry around during the day, like especially at the gym or if I'm running errands. And then this is my daily supplements, Sunday through Saturday, you can see right here. I'll definitely be going over those in more detail. Um, SE Nutrition was launched. I don't believe that I have showed it on uh, my YouTube channel, but this is the pump product. So it's the pre-workout without caffeine. And then there's also one that's called Power Pump with caffeine. It comes in at two different flavors, Watermelon Paradise and Coconut Berry. Um, and then I have another supplement, Serenity, that we launched that's doing amazing. But I'll go over this stuff more with you guys. But for now, this is what I put in my pre-workout, two scoops of pump. And then I also do five grams of creatine and um, a scoop of collagen. What's up you guys? I just got back from the gym. Leg day was pretty brutal. I also started my period today, perfect timing. Um, so my cravings are honestly through the roof. Um, I'm a little bit behind on my second meal, but I am going to prep chicken um, to make later on in an overnight crock pot. And then I'm also going to barbecue chicken and I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare that. Okay, you guys, so what I recently started doing, and I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago, but I am butterflying my chicken breasts now just because they're a lot thinner. You can see compared to the normal chicken breast, it's like super thick and it's just, um, it's harder to cook. So I butterfly the chicken and then I use Montreal steak seasoning and soy sauce. That's it. And then I'm going to put it on the barbecue for six minutes on one side, five minutes on one side. That's exactly how I pre prepare it. Super simple. Okay, you guys, so normally I cook um, fresh veggies, but one of Chris's friends sent him um, these vegetable frozen packs, and the macros on them are amazing. Um, it's basically just frozen veggies. And then the minute rice sometimes comes in handy um, if you don't want to spend 15 to 20 minutes making rice. 
So these are my quick go-tos, um, but I will be doing a full grocery haul in the next few days and I'll get fresh veggies and then I'll probably be making more rice in bulk. Um, for, but for today, this is what I'm eating and this is how the veggies look. For a snack, I'm having an Astro Pop. 16 grams carbs. Okay guys, my last meal for the night. I still have some carbs, so I'll be eating some uh, snacks. Uh, six ounces of salmon and a salad. This is my go-to salad dressing. What's up you guys? So, um, good morning. It's the next day. Um, I just wanted to get on here and close out the YouTube video. Yesterday, um, I actually under ate. Um, I started my period, so I just really lost my appetite. Um, so I didn't really force feed myself, but I still hit really good macros. Um, but today's another day um, to get after it and to hit the numbers. I'm gonna take my dogs for a walk right now, but um, thank you guys for joining me um, on the first day back. I know it was kind of just like going over my meals and stuff like that, but um, yesterday was pretty rough. I was pretty hungry for the most part for the first half of the day, and then I kind of lost my appetite the second half of the day because my period just came at the right timing. Day one back on prep, I started my period. So um, overall though, I feel really good. Uh, to be back on track and let's get it. I'll see you guys on the next video.